if you have a stop and go corner where you're trying to V it off, you're trying to stop the thing as late as possible and get it picked up on the fat part of the tyre as soon as possible. For that you want a bike, you can use both tyres to stop the bike. And then you have a nice flowing corner, so you're trying to almost settle up nice and wide, use as much real estate on the entry as possible, trying to, to keep the bike as calm and as stable as possible, but also keep that high speed up. Where you have a lot of high speed change of directions, you're putting a lot of input into the handlebars in terms of counter steering. So you're basically going opposite lock in the car. And that in turn creates the bike to want to flip over. Using that pushing and pulling motion, as well as uh, an input with the throttle, quiet squirt just to create some spin and having that spin there as soon as it kind of stops it wants to stand the bike up and you use that sort of motion to help the bike fall over to the other side. Feels like it's trying to kill you but once you sort of understand it becomes second nature to you. It's uh, an amazing sense of accomplishment to know that you were able to extract the maximum you could out of that motorcycle on that day and it just fills you with so much joy.